Hello, uh, my name is Laoshi Keith Lewis. I'm the Chief Instructor for the Lee Family Internal Arts Association. Today we're going to be talking uh, on this particular blog about uh, the ward off methods or blocks that are used within the Nejar Chen or internal family boxing of the Lee Family Martial Arts. Uh, primarily we use two methods which is what we call a yin ward off uh, and also a yang ward off which is a hard type of method. Uh, today we're just going to demonstrate the yin palm ward off and we're just going to demonstrate two methods uh, what we call a sideward palm uh, technique to defend against either a blow or a kick. Uh, the purpose of uh, a yin ward off has three main uh, purposes. The first one is to redirect the incoming uh, attack away from the body. Uh, that's the first reason. The second reason is to open up the attacker's defense so that then it is much more easier uh, for us to counterattack with more su successful strikes or kicks. And the third reason is to uproot the uh, attacker's balance or stance so that he is momentarily off balance, leaving him vulnerable then for us to quickly counterattack back with basically whatever we choose to use. So we're going to give a demonstration now on using a particular uh, palm ward off, what we call a sideward yin palm ward off. Okay, we're going to do a demonstration of a particular yin palm sideward ward off against a straight blow coming in towards your face. Uh, we're going to show you two methods. The first method is what we call a pushing palm and the second method is what we call a rolling palm. The pushing palm is uh, quite a common uh, method of defense that you use uh, or see in all types of Chinese martial arts, whether it's external hard styles or internal soft styles. Okay, so as the blow comes in, the first method we're going to use is we connect with the palm and we're just simply going to push the palm uh, across our body so that we direct the incoming blow away from us. Uh, this can be done on the outside and it can also be performed on the inside of the arm. Uh, the three purposes behind this is, first of all, is to redirect the blow away from us, from its target, to open up the opponent's or attacker's defence, and the third reason is to try to twist him off balance. Obviously, the more power he gives us, the more effective the technique becomes. The second method, uh, again on a sideward uh, palm method, or ward off, is what we call the rolling palm. As the palm comes in, we make contact with the palm, and then we begin to slide the hand, and as the palm begins to slide, we roll or twist the hand at the end of its motion. Again, this has a greater effect on uh, breaking the, or the opponent's root or balance, uh, which gives us then uh, a couple more important or, uh, seconds for us to quickly counterattack. Again, this can be done on the inside of the arm. And again, you can see the effectiveness of the rolling method of the hand as a way of being able to open up the attacker's defense.